Hello everyone, welcome back to Learning Analytics Tools course. In this week, uh, we will discuss Diagnostic Analytics. If you remember this picture from week 1, uh, we saw that there are 4 levels of analytics, uh, descriptive, diagnostic, uh, predictive and uh, prescriptive. Uh, in the last week, we saw descriptive analytics, uh, what data to collect, how to represent and uh, that is very basics we saw because we do not want to uh, teach a course on designing uh, better visualizations or infographics. Uh, but uh, you, I hope you got the basics of what is descriptive analytics. In this week and the coming week, uh, we will talk about diagnostic analytics, then we will talk about predictive analytics. Uh, what is diagnostic analytics? So, it is uh, to un uh, understand or to identify why this particular thing happened, why the students in the year 2018 is not able to score good or why the students in 2016 performed above average, why, why it happened, what was the factor imparting it. So, to identify that is called diagnostic analytics. And uh, so, we, we saw that diagnostic analytics is identifying why particular thing happened, right. For example, um, if we have students attendance and the midterm marks and the final marks. Let us consider this example for uh, this activity. So, we will look at this example often to uh, explain what is diagnostic analytics. For example, if you have students attendance, midterm marks, also the final uh, semester marks. The final marks is the dependent variable, attendance and midterm are the independent that is x1, x2, uh, final marks is the y1. And we want to know why few students scored less than 40. Here the focus is not who scored above 90, instead the, the focus is on who is scoring less than 40. So, list down based on your experience, uh, why would how it happen? So, consider you have only these data like midterm marks and attendance. Can you create a hypothesis from this data? And uh, if you have hypothesis, how do you like to test it? What are the techniques you use to test whether your hypothesis is right or wrong? Uh, you consider that you have a uh, 1000 students data or 60 students data like the number of data is up to your choice. Uh, think that you have this data and you have x1, x2 and you want to um, uh, identify the hypothesis, the relation between x1, x2 to y1 and come up with the hypothesis also come up with the methodology to test it. Please resume the video after you list down your answers. So, there are few uh, uh, techniques for diagnostic analytics, uh, one is correlation or clustering, pattern mining or process mining. For example, this clustering or process mining can be also converted into a predictive analytics, but let us consider this for a um, diagnostic analytics. Uh, so, the very basic step is correlation. So, what is correlation and what is clustering? We will discuss about correlation in this week. Uh, in the coming weeks, we will talk about pattern mining, process mining, then clustering. So, how to create hypothesis? This is very important because you have data um, like dependent data also the independent data. How do you come up with the hypothesis? The algorithm can be used to test your hypothesis, but the algorithm will not create hypothesis for you right. So, algorithm cannot create a research question for you. The algorithm can be used to test your research questions or the questions you have right. So, uh, how to create it? Let us start with the first step like you have to collect data like what data you can collect. After you collect data do the descriptive analytics, see visually is there any connection, any relationship between this data, plot in a bar chart, distribution chart and uh, in fact you go for scatter plot, uh, see the relationships. Then you have to use your domain knowledge to come up with your hypothesis. That is why uh, analytics course when you apply to a learning analytics it is about you coming up with your domain knowledge to apply on your uh, domain. So, your expertise in domain helps you to identify the hypothesis. For example, uh, we know that the students who are not able to attend a class or who are not able to submit assignments on time will not able to good, get a good score in the final exam. If you know that hypothesis and you have a data if you want to test it, go ahead and test it. So, that kind of hypothesis, that kind of uh, such question has to come from the domain expertise. If you are not able to identify um, the such question or uh, develop an hypothesis uh, from the domain knowledge, uh, please read research papers, uh, the recent research papers in a related field and how, what kind of um, questions they are coming up with. 
and how they are creating the questions. You can start with the testing the existing questions available on your data, then that kind of practice will make you think how to create a new research questions. That is how you do read research papers. So, in this video, uh, we just uh, got introduction to what is diagnostic analytics. In the coming video, uh, we will talk about correlation in detail, what are types of correlation. Thank you.